Hi everybody, this is Greg with Age Verify, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through adding in our Age Verify code into a SiteSwan website. So to begin with here in my browser, I have two tabs open. The first one here you likely recognize is the SiteSwan dashboard. And the second tab that we're going to want to have access to is the Age Verify website. And we'll access Age Verify uh, here just in a little bit to grab our code that we're gonna copy and then paste into the SiteSwan website. So to begin with here from the dashboard, We've got this set of options available for our website, edit, preview, site details, duplicate and delete. We're gonna click on the site details option here right in the middle. So I'll click on site details. And now I've got this panel here titled site details. And on the right side of this panel, there's this button here that says edit. I'm gonna click the edit button, scroll down a little bit. And now I've got this option here titled header HTML code. And this is going to be where we're going to paste our age verify code directly into the web, into the SiteSwan website here. So let's jump over to the age verify tab. And from the age verify website at the top of the screen here, you see we've got this option titled get started. I'll go ahead and click on that. And from the get started page, we've got a variety of templates for you to review and choose from a template for just about every business that would require age verification. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we'll go with the translucent template here. This is our most popular. I'll click on the learn more button. And from within each template, we've got some demos you can review. Uh, we've got demos for both our date of, input, date of birth input method, age button prompt method. Uh, but if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see we have three tiers of service. We have a basic free version, which is ad supported. And you can see how that ad will look on your website. We have a pro version. It's very similar to the basic version. The main difference though, is that the ads are removed and it is $59 per year. And then we have a custom version, which is where we'll add your branding, your logos, uh, custom backgrounds, custom videos, colors, uh, whatever you want uh, to customize it, we can, we can meet that need or that requirement. But we'll stick with the basic version here for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit until I locate the click for instructions link, and I'll click on that. And now we're on our age verify code generator and installation instructions page. So part one of two, select template background. We already selected translucent on the previous page, but if we wanted to change it here, we could. We could select any variety of templates. We'll stick with translucent. And next we wanna select our website platform. We are of course using SiteSwan, so I'll scroll down until I locate SiteSwan. There it is. Select your method format. So this is the method in which we wanna prompt our users for their age verification. We can either do an age button prompt, which you can see how that looks or we can actually prompt them to input their date of birth. And we can do a month, day, year format or a day, month, year format. But we'll, if you selected one of those, you can see that preview here as well. But we'll stick with age button prompt. We've got some optional custom settings. If you wanted to edit any of the text on here, so if you want to edit what the welcome prompt text is or any of the button text that's here, you can uh, go ahead and make those changes here. And we've, you can change the underage redirect location. That's the location the user is sent to if they click the I am under age button here. By default, it goes to age verify, but you can set it to whichever you like. And then we've got the change cookie duration value. And the cookie duration uh, is all about the time in between prompts for the same user on the same browser. And by default, we have it set to 30 days. And once you get these options uh, set how you like them, you can scroll down a little further here. We've got part two of two, our installation instructions. And this very first bit here is a block of red code. And this is actually what we wanna copy and paste into uh, the SiteSwan uh, website. So just simply highlight it with your mouse. And once you've got that highlighted, you can copy it to your clipboard by hitting Command C if you're on a Mac or Control C if you're on a Windows computer. Otherwise you can just right click it and choose copy. And once you've get that copied, we will jump back over to the SiteSwan website. And here again, header HTML code, we're gonna click in this box to get our mouse in there. And we'll simply paste our code that we copied from the previous screen right into this input box. And once you get that pasted in, you'll scroll down here a little further. And on the bottom right-hand corner, you can see there's an option here uh, titled save. We will save it. And once it's done saving, that's it. You've now added age verification to your website. It's as simple as that. If you wanna preview the change, you can do it directly from the screen. Here it says site URLs. You can just click on your website URL. It'll open in a new tab. And you can now view your website with the age verification overlay. You can see we added the translucent template. We had it configured for age 18. And if I click that I am 18 or older, I can access my website as normal. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to uh, either leave a comment or shoot us an email. We, we respond to all inquiries within 24 hours. Thanks. Have a great day.